Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. Today in this tutorial, we are going to learn about RPA challenge invoice extraction. You can see the screenshot of automation challenge. Let me open Google Chrome here. You can see here, once you will open RPA challenge.com, then you will get this page. And this is for uh, RPA challenge. And you will see here, there is your option invoice extraction. So once you will click on this, you will get this challenge. And what you have to do, you have to download the invoice and extract the data from there and then upload CSV on this page and then it will show you that you are success or you are failed right so today we are going to automate this page RPA challenge automation OCR so before that I am going to show you a few instruction of this automation challenge page first one the goal of this challenge is to create a workflow that will read every table row and download the respective invoices it means there are 12 invoices available on this page you can see here these are the four invoices you can see here and then you will go to the second page then third page another four invoices here so you'll have to go one by one to all these invoices and you have to extract the data from there now the second from the invoices you will have to extract the invoice number invoice date company name and total due let me show you here if you click on this invoice and you can see here we need to capture invoice number here is the invoice number 284228 and this is the invoice date and then you have to capture this name and then you have to capture the total due so this is 1800 is your due now the third instruction is you will have to build and upload a CSV file with the data extracted from each invoice. The ID and due date from the table only for the invoices for which the due date has passed or is today. It means we'll have to only extract the data from invoices which this due date is past or is current date. So let's say today is 13 February. So we need to check here the due date is less than equal to current date or not so if it is current date less than equal to current date then we need to open that invoice and extract the data and write all this data into the CSV file here and then upload one CSV file to this page now fourth the actual countdown of the challenge will begin once you click the start button and will end once the CSV file is uploaded until then you may play around with the table on the right without receiving penalties the countdown will be start from here once you'll click on this start then it will show in progress and then you have to you know check your due date less than equal to current date and then open that invoice and then extract the data and at the end here you will get a submit button here once you'll click on this submit button it will ask you to select that CSV file so you'll have to select that CSV file and submit that and then at that time it will show you that you are success or not now the fifth number below you will find an example CSV file in order to see the required format for the end result and two sample invoices the formats of the invoices will be exactly as in the samples and they will not change the challenge expects the uploaded CSV to be in the exact same format as the example CSV including the formatting of the sales and the rows should be in the same order as they appear in the table any difference will result in a failed challenge right so you can see here there are three examples so this is the CSV file let me open this and this is the sample of your invoice so let me first show you this so you'll have to capture extract all this data and write into CSV in this format in first column you have to capture and write ID then due date invoice number invoice date company name and total due so you can see here the due date should be in DDMMYY and the invoice date also DDMMYY even if you are getting invoice date or due date in MMDDYY but you have to convert it to DDMMYY and this is the company name and all these details you have to capture and you have to write in the same format 
same data not the same data but you have to capture extracted data from the invoice and write in the same column against here now the second format uh, the format here sample invoice one it is showing that there are two sample one for this and second you will get like this so there are two invoices sample here so you have to capture based on that sample now close this close this now let me first show you the demo here that I have already created this this project here so once if I will run this project then what will happen it will open the that RPA challenge website and then it will extract all this invoice one by one and then it will capture the data and write in a CSV file and then upload the CS5 so let me run this control F5 okay now you can see here we have opened this website and then it's opening one by one right so you can see here that first I'm going to you know page up and then if I need to capture this total due I'm going to page down so we'll have to do all these things in our automation so that it can capture the total due also and the this all this invoice date and invoice numbers so it is going to the page 3 and this is the last I, I believe okay this is done now let me open Google Chrome here and you can see here so congrats you beat the challenge in 55.972 seconds so you can also do that you can see here the status finished here now if you want to do this then let me open the studio here and let me do this here in front of you so for that I'm going to uh, let me disable this I'm just going to comment this one and then I'm going to take another flow chart here I will take another flow chart here and then I will show you all this step one by one now as you know that first we need to open this website right so what we'll do we'll take this URL and then to open this website we have open browser so we'll take this go to the browser type we'll select the chrome and in the URL I will paste this URL so up to this this is done we are able to open this website now once we'll open this website let me start again once we'll open this website our next step is we have to click on this start right so what we'll do in the open browser here in the do section we'll take a click activity and then we'll click on this start button and the same time we'll select the simulate click by this way we can just you know open this website and click on start now after this we need to capture you can see here we need to capture this due date so that we will check the condition if due date is less than equal to current date then we need to click on this invoice it means we need to capture only invoice data where the due date is less than or equal to current date otherwise we have to go to the next row next row next row right so for that we need to capture this so we'll take one attach browser here and now inside this we'll take a get text get text click on this and just click on this due date so we need to capture this this due date so we'll write here let me just control K and then due date so 
due date can be a string because we are going to capture this date in a string format now just go and select as a flowchart now what we need to do here we need to take this date because we are getting this date as a string now we need to convert this date in the date format so that we can check this due date is less than equal to current date or not so if we'll check with the string then that will not work properly so we'll have to convert exact to the this format in date time so what we'll do we'll take our sign activity here due date and this due date will be of date time system dot date time so as you know that we cannot perform date comparison between a string and date because the current date will be our date time and this due date will be a string that's why we need to convert it to date time so we'll write here date time dot parse exact we have to exact convert this now open close bracket let me click on this value open close bracket and then we need to write here the input so we are getting as a string here now comma we need to put the format here so i'm going to put here format that is dd mm y y y y because we are getting format here dd mm y y right now we we'll write here comma we need to provide here provider as a i format provider so we'll write here system dot globalization dot and then we have to take this culture info dot invariant culture so what will happen this will this will exactly convert this due date into date time and this will be stored into a due date date time data type now we need a current date time like today's date so we'll take another sign activity and we we'll write here current date and this will be also a date time so we'll just click on this and select this date time and change the scope now we'll go here and put here date time dot now so date time value will be passed to this current date variables so now we have two variables due date and current date now we have to check here if due date is less than equal to current date so if it is then we have to click on this invoice so what we can do we'll take a flow decision here because we are using here flow chart so we'll take flow decision so we'll put here if due date less than equal to current date if it is just true then we have to click on this invoice this image so it will open this right so we'll take a click activity here just click on this this invoice and select this simulate click now if it is not if it is not less than equal to current date then we have to check for the second row now 
we have the second row and again if it is not then again we have to go to the second uh, third row so by this way we have to increase the row number so how can we increase the row number let me show you here let me open ui explorer here now once we'll click on this indicate element and let's click on this due date so we are getting here table row and the row name you can see here the row name is 1 and the table row is 2 so as per this here the row name is showing 1 the table row is showing 2 it means based on this this is table row 1 and this is table row 2 so this is considering 2 now the problem is here if you'll go into the page 2 and again if you are checking for the same thing then what is happening now you see here it is showing again table row 2 but the row name is 5 so we have to take this row name because it is taking correct because on this page 1 we are taking 1 2 3 4 and on the second page this is 5 so we have to take this because this is taking based on this number row number 5 but if you'll go with this table row then it is showing only 2 so this is not correct so we have to always follow this row name right now go to the page 1 here so what we'll do we'll take here one assign activity and we'll click the here so let's say if it is less than equal to then it will click on that otherwise it will increase plus one so we'll take here a row number like row name and then by default we'll put here let me uh, change this the row name to row number and this will be an integer and by default we are giving it to row number one so first time it will come and click on the row number one and then if it is not matched it will go for the row number two so we'll write here row number one equal to row number plus one so this time it will row number two now how can again we you know check this one so either we can go and click here so what will happen once it will come to this row number plus one it means the row number will be two it will go and capture again this thing so how can we make sure that this will capture the row number two right currently what is happening if you check the selector it is going to check only you know the same thing which we have selected so every time it will go and collect this date 2112 but we need to increase this one also so that it will first time it will capture this if it is not found then it will capture this then this then this so we have to make sure here while selecting here let me open in the edit selector indicate again click on this open in UI Explorer click on this now we have to take this row name always now save this and we have to do one thing here in the row name that will write here in the single quote you can see here we have to write single quote double quote plus plus and then we have to put here row number and this will be dot two string you can see here in the selector so currently it is uh, putting here and person quote so we have to remove this as you know that if you click on this this three option then this will again change so we have to make sure that in the row name let me delete and then you have to write here single quote then double quote and then plus plus and then we'll put here row number and as you know that row number is an integer 
we will have to convert it to string because selector will take as a string here so dot to a string so first time row number is 1 as you can see here the row number by default value 1 so it will go and check for the row number 1 so what will be the row, row number 1 so this is the row number 1 and now it will go here and it will check here if due date less than equal to current date then it will click on this now how can we just you know increase this also because every time it will this will be also increased right because there are different different this images for each row so you can see here if we'll go to the selector again we have to click on edit, edit selector open in UI Explorer because we need that row name not table row so make sure always you have to look for that so just go and uncheck this table row and select this row name now save this okay and now again click on this here from the selector and go at last and now put here in the double quotation plus plus row number dot to string so what will happen first it will check and then it will click on the first row if it is not found then it will go and it will increase that so this will be row number two so this time again it will go and check for row number two right so if we are clicking on this let's say this date is less than equal to current date so we'll click on this now we have this invoice so once we're clicking on that we have to capture this as you know that we have two sample format first this one and there is second also so we need to check the format here if we are getting this format then we have to automate the by this way so what we can do we have to take here one element exist so before that we'll take one attach browser connect with this just click on this so we are going to attach this invoice and we'll check for this this document so you can see here in the selector in the title we are going to check 793 and 1122 so this is our height and width you can see here so there are two sample here in one this is the size and there is a second invoice and this has the different height and width right so first we are going to check for this this one so what I am going to do here I am just going to change the title with the star so we are going to just check with this height and width jpg file and we'll take on one element exist here click on this so we are going to click on this format and we'll check here what is this name a e n e a n so we'll write here control k a e n e a n like this so we'll take this variable and we'll check this variable if this is exists then we have to automate based on this format otherwise we have the second format and we have to automate we have to write the you know steps here to automate that format also now we can do one thing we can take another flow decision here let me check for the flow decision I 
and this time we'll write if it is this format then we have to write that steps to capture the data from this format right so what we can do we can write here so let me take here one sequence here and this will be for a e n e n n e n format and there is another sequence for the so if it is true then this otherwise false then this one so what is the second format let me open this so the second format is sit m at cop so let me put here sit m at cop so now we can do one thing once we'll open this and let's say if it is matched so first time if less than if the due date is less than equal to current date then it will go and click on the invoice and this invoice will be opened now as you know as you can see here the size is you know very small so we have to just click on this so once we'll click on this it will show like this and then we can capture so for that we have to take a click activity here so that we can click on that so before that we can do one thing we can take a attach here attach browser just select this and just put here star and then validate and okay now when you take here one click here click on this so what will happen it will go and click on this so it will be looking like this now once after clicking on this we have to send this page to up so we'll take one send hotkey here send hotkey and let me click here and then i'm going to put here page up page up so every time once we'll open the invoice it will send the page to up and then we'll start capturing the data one by one so first we need to capture this data this invoice number invoice date and this this name also and then to total due so for that we'll take one get OCR here we'll take OCR get OCR text because this is image and and you know that if you are going to automate image then we need to take help of OCR so we'll click on this and then we have to press if we are using laptop keyboard then you know that if we have a function key so we have to use function key and then F3 so it will look like this you can see the you know the mouse pointer so we have to capture this as you know that we cannot you know put uh, from between has and this so we can select the complete from has to this and we can do one thing we can remove the hash and then just go and take one variable control k and this is invoice number and just take one assign activity here and let me put here invoice number and then we'll write here invoice number dot replace and what we are going to replace here you can see we are going to replace here has 
if you are getting this hash so we need to replace with the string dot empty so we'll put here string dot empty and then if there is any space then we can trim that now press ok so we are getting this issue it means we have to change our variable type to a string because we are doing a string manipulation on this data right now same way we have to take another get OCR text here click on this indicate press F3 and then capture this invoice date and this is control K invoice date so invoice date will be again a string because as you can see here let me show you here now see here this invoice date is showing in the yydd or yymmdd right but we need to convert it to ddmmyy so we'll take a assign activity here then we need to put here convert dot to date time date time open close bracket and then this will be invoice date dot to a string let me open here open close bracket in the double quotation dd hyphen mm hyphen y y y y now press ok and then we have to take another get OCR text here and this is for this company name right we have this company name also so we'll capture company name Control K company name and then the last we have to capture this total due so you know that to capture this amount we have to go here so what we can do we can just press page down let me take one send hotkey here click on this and let me put here page down and then we have to capture this total due so we'll take another get OCR text here click on this F3 and capture this amount and as you can see here that the background color is different so we have this test rect OCR and there is option to invert so what will happen if this checkbox is selected the colors of the UI element are inverted before scrapping so what will happen before scrapping the data first the background color will be removed and only text will be captured so we'll check this one and then we can just go and select this none so none means there will not be any pre-processing options selected here now just click here and then just take a variable and that is for total due change the scope to flowchart change the scope to flowchart change this to string change this to string 
now up to this we are done and once we are done with this we can close the tab here so we can do one thing we can take a close tab we can put here so it will close the tab which is open in this attached browser and then we have to add this all this data into a table data table so that we can write all this data table to a csv because we need to upload the csv file so for that what we need to do here we have to take one build data table so that we can build our own data table so i'm going to do one thing i'm going to a uh, build here after opening this browser let me take one build data table right now you can see here we have to click on this build data table and click on this data table now we need to write all this create all this column here so we'll start with the same format let me show you that the format which was showing in the example.csv file so first we need a id this id which we need to capture also i will show you so we'll take here click on plus and take here id then press ok take another column for due date invoice numbers so we'll write all these things due date invoice number and then invoice date and then company name so we'll write here company name and then we require here total due so we'll take here t o t l total due press ok and now all this column which we need we have taken here so now press ok and then just take a data table name here so we'll take here invoice dt and this should be a data table so let me check here and yes this is a data table right so now at the end here once we are done with the capturing all this data we need to add all this data to the data table so for that we have to add we have a add data row so we'll take here add data row and in the array of row we have to write all this data so we'll write here first id so you can see here i'm not getting id here so for that let me show you here at the time of capturing due date we need to capture the id also same time we can capture id so for that we need to take get text take this click on this click on this so we'll capture this id so again we have to go and open in ui explorer click on this and select this row name right now save this and then go to the selector from here do not click on three dot dot option now just put here double quotation and then plus plus and then row number dot to string so it will capture this now take this into a variable control k id and let me change this to a string here and a scope will be a flowchart 
right now go here in the format here and go to the add data row and now you can see here we have to write here in the curly braces id comma and now we have the another that is due date so we'll write here due date comma now we have invoice number we'll put here invoice number now comma invoice date so i'm putting this variable because i have taken the same variable name now company name comma comma and then we have total due right now press ok so we need to put here data table that is uh, invoice dt so what will happen all this data from uh, id due date all this data will be written to the, that data table now the first format data has been captured and this is done now the second thing if we are getting another data then we need to capture by this way let click on this and now we need to capture this one so for that we can do one thing we can take the complete thing here and just paste here and then just click on this indicate and then click here go to the selector and this time this is our height and width so we'll just change this to a star now press ok and then we need to click on this image so as you can see here there is no selector it will click on this based on this attach browser so what will be the selector of the attach browser it will click on that image so no need to change here also in the send hotkey but now we have the get OCR text and here we have to capture different different format data so now it will click on here go to the up and then we need to capture this data so for that we need to indicate on the screen and this time let me show you this is for invoice number so we'll click here indicate on the screen and again press F3 and we need to capture this invoice number so we'll capture only this and this will be the same variable we are going to use the same thing and now no need to replace anything so we can remove here because we are not capturing hash here now we are looking for the invoice date click on this and and press F3 so this is our invoice date we need to capture this and you can see here the format is is showing June 30 2019 so we have to convert this to DDMMYY so this is already captured DDMMYY now we'll take the company name so this is our company name we'll capture this one and now paste down so here this is paste down and now we need to capture the total due so this is our total due so we can capture complete with the this now as you can see there is no any background color here so no need to select anything here just remove this and remove this also there is no in profile and once 
we get captured this one so you can see here in the due date we are getting dollar and comma also so we have to remove this one so how can we remove that for that we'll take our sign activity and then this is a total due so we'll write here total due equal to total due dot let me open this in the here dot replace what we need to replace here we need to replace dollar we need to find this dollar and then replace with empty the so string dot empty now we need to remove this also we have a comma here we'll put here dot again then replace in double quotes and we'll put here comma so if you are getting comma then again we need to replace with string dot empty and then this will be dot trim so we'll remove the space if you are getting anything here now this is done we are getting all this data again written to the invoice dt data table now what will happen let me close this first time it will go and capture this capture all this data but how can we you know go to the second page so for that we have to take something here so that we can click on the second page and third page and how can we ask ui path to only go to the 12 pages only 12 number so for that we have to take a while loop so we'll take here while loop and inside this we'll put here if row number less than equal to 12 so first time it will loop in inside and execute all this thing which is written in the body and then it will check for the 2 less than equal to 12 yes then once it will uh, reach up to 12 less than equal to 12 yes and then 13 less than equal to 12 no then it will exit from there so now we need to take this uh, which one let me show you we need to take this complete from here from this attached browser we have to take complete this from here take this and go here and paste inside this so for that let me take a flow chart here flow chart let me take a flow chart flow, flow. here and just paste here let me take again all this thing we have to capture all this data and paste this right now go here and connect with this and so what will happen now this time let me uh, come to the here and connect with this build data table so what will happen first time it will open the browser click on start build a data table and then it will check here if row number less than equal to 12 it means first time by default the row number will be 1 so it is yes 1 is less than equal to 12 yes then it will come here inside this and it will you know follow all these steps like it will you know get the text id and then this due date and then check here less than equal to this then it will do all these things right and then it will if less than equal to this then click on this if it is not then row number one and if it is less than this then it will go here and now if it is this format right then this is done if it is not this format then it will go to the this and then after completing this process again what will happen let's say here if we are done with the first invoice then we have to capture another one right so it means if we are done with the second invoice 
first invoice then we have to again increase the row number so how can we increase we can link this with this here so once it is done with the this format it will go and increase the row number 2 right and then it will again it will check from here if row number 2 here is less than equal to 12 then it will start from here so what happened if it is done with this format if every time we are getting this format so first time it is done with this format then we need to increase the row also so we can do one thing we can take a sign activity here after this and we'll take here row number equal to row number plus one so once it is done with this it will increase one and then check again in the while same here it is done with this then it will go and increase this and if it is not not less than equal to current date again it will increase plus one now how can we click on this page two page one page two page three so you can see here if the row number is four then we are working on page page one if the row number is five then page two and row number nine then page three so what we can do we can put a if condition here and we need to put here if row number is less than five if less than five then it will exit from here and then follow these steps if then again we need to check here in else condition we need to check here if if row number less than nine oh sorry if less than what is the second page less than nine so we'll put here less than equal to eight or less than nine so if it is less than nine so we have to click on this page two so we'll take our click activity here and we have to click on this page two so click on the simulate click and if it is not less than equal to nine it means this is 12 or something like 9 10 11 12 so we'll take another click activity and this time it will click on page 3 now you can see here if row number less than 5 it, it means first time our row number will be 1 so it will check here if row number less than 5 so it will not click on anywhere it will just go outside this one because it will go into the true and after that it will go outside and it work on that right so as you know that we if we are done with the last here uh, the next third page we have to click on this submit so that we can submit a upload a CSV file so for that we have to uh, go to the last page here and then click on this submit but before that we have to write that data to the CSV so for that we have a write CSV so I need to just provide the data table that is invoice DT press OK and then we have to select this add headers and then we need to uh, put here the path so I'm going to, to put to just put here the path which is uh, available here so this is the my project folder so I'm going to take this file name here so it will go and uh, put this one and now what we need to do here we have to uh, click on that submit button so we'll take here click click on this 
and we have to click on this submit button so once we'll click on submit button it will ask you to upload that select that file so we'll put that you know the file name so what is that file that is upload or CSV because we are going to write a CSV here and that name will be you know upload or CSV so we'll upload the same thing here so we'll take one thing uh, we'll take a write we'll take a type into here indicate on this here and then we have to put here that upload.csv similar type and then we'll take one you know click on open so because we are if you are putting here upload.csv then need to click on this open so we'll take on click activity again here or you can you know put enter there in the type into activity so we'll just click on this open now this is done uh, go here and just close this and let me run this so you can see here uh, the website has been opened automation challenge and now it's opening one by one all this invoice and it will capture the data from here now it's going to the page down and then capturing the total due amount so now it is on the second page and once it is completed with the second page you will go to the uh, page 3 okay now it is on the page 3 here and now it's time to click on submit but we are getting issue here I don't know why it is not clicking on that submit button but let's wait for error exception okay so you can see here the error is get text td and row name is equal to 13 so you know we are passing counter there in the row name right like we are increasing one by one so it is checking for row number 13 but as you can see here we don't have any row number 13 we have just 12 so what is happening it is going to you know increase plus one 13 and then it is not able to check in the while condition let me check here it is going to check here if row number less than equal to 12 then it will enter but what is happening here it is going here the row number 13 so 13 less than equal to 12 no so it should you know exit from the while loop then it will go you know here to write the CSV file but what is the issue here let me check in the while and why it is increasing one by one attach browser then we are capturing this okay so you can see here what we are doing we are increasing the row number again and we are you know going to you know uh, get the text here so what we can do we can just remove this so what will happen once it is uh, first time it will check here and if it will go to the false then it will increase plus one so it will uh, be row plus row number plus one it means two and then it will exit from this right currently what we are doing we are you know we are telling UI path to go to the this attached browser but this time we don't have to do like this we have to remove this arrow so that it will just increase the row number 2 
and then it will go here in the while and it will check here if the row number 2 less than 12 then it will enter here and then based on that again it will come here and start working but previously what was happening it was not going to check here right every time when it was increasing plus 1 it was going to check here and get the data right now we'll remove this and save this and let me check uh, here that we are getting any issue in the upload or not click button we are passing here upload.csv so uh, we need to put here full path otherwise let's suppose sometime every time our project folder will not be opened so we'll have to pass here the full path so I'm going to use this now save this So you can see here now this time I don't think we'll get any exception here so let's wait for the success message okay the first invoice second invoice now this is third on the first page and then second page now on the second page one invoice okay now it's moving to third page one invoice two invoice okay now it's done now let's go to the chrome browser and let's see here it shows here you bit the challenge in 57 second 57.852 seconds right so i hope you like this video and i think you are waiting for this video from long time so please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed and please press the like button and share with your friends and if you have any question you can comment on video thank you thank you for watching this video